the party. If you missed last week's video, we started installing the subfloor slash sheathing to our cantilever rooftop deck. We got all the plywood up here. Time to install a roof. Since the deck is over 1,500 square feet, it's taking us quite some time to get everything set up. And we ran into a few issues along the way. I think we fixed the issue. It's a race against time and the weather to see if we can get the roof set up before the rainy season gets here. So stay tuned to see us tackle the scariest part of the roof. And eventually we will encounter the abyss, which we are both not looking forward to, but it is necessary. And to see the progress we make in this week's video. Oh man, it is what I would like to describe as hot, even though it is totally not hot. My headband is killing me, it keeps going in my eyes. Anyway, so we spent like, seriously, probably like an hour, two hours setting everything up today. When we came on the roof, there was water everywhere. What's new? It rained the other day, the other night, and kind of all day. So the roof was kind of full of water. The plastic was full of water. So we had to evacuate the water and then uh, redistribute the plywood because now we are working on this spot right here and the plywood was all stacked right here so basically now we are going to install the next row and remove the plastic from this row and screw this row down and go from there we got some advice from one of our friends mr. T I'm sure those of you who watch uh, our channel know him well <laughs> And he suggested that we try to drill the screws in with a regular drill instead of an impact drill. So we're going to try that and uh, see if it works better than the impact drill because we keep uh, messing up all of the heads, the drill heads. This is driving me crazy, this headband. Whew, I think I might just take it off. Anyways, it's not really necessarily hot, but for whatever reason, me and Vion are dying. It's very uh, humid and not too much wind and anyways, so we are going to get after it and see how far we make it. Could be cool if we can make it a couple rows in, but we'll see.
go over here so hopefully you guys can hear me super loud the impact driver anyways we tried to use the drill this drill to drill the screws into the tubes and it didn't work <laughs> it just didn't have enough torque and we kept stripping all the heads because it's just it's really tough to like do it so anyways Viant he a uh, suggestion from Mr. T nail the screws in the wood before we drive them in and what a difference like night and day uh, yeah so now we're cruising along it's getting towards the end of the day i think we will only be able to set up one more row and uh call it a day before it's dark out but good progress Water, the drink of the gods. Just kidding. Pray, pray for Next row coming right up. But first, a word from today's sponsor. This is the Angui M20, a 1000 watt dual suspension long range e bike. The M20 comes with a 750 watt high power brushless motor with a peak output of up to 1000 watts and a maximum speed of 24.9 miles per hour. It has five pedal assist speeds and comes in three different colors. The M20 comes with two battery options, dual batteries or a single battery. Each battery is a 13 amp hour 48 volt lithium ion battery and the dual battery version offers a range of 68.3 miles in electric mode and 94 miles in pedal assist mode, which is 200% longer range than the average e-bikes on the market. The batteries also support USB charging. This fat tire e-bike is equipped with a dual shock system, which makes the ride really comfortable. And with 20 by four inch fat tires, the Angui M20 is able to ride on almost any terrain. The LCD screen makes it easy to see power, speed, mileage, and other parameters in real time, and the dual headlights make it safe to ride at night. The Engwe M20 has 160mm mechanical disc brakes and a Shimano 7-speed gearbox. This bike comes with a 1-year warranty and comes 90% assembled. This e-bike is not only super stylish and offers a vintage cafe racer look, it's also really capable and versatile. It's perfect for off-road and on-road riding and gives the feeling of riding a motorcycle. Be sure to click the link in the description to pick up an Angui M20 e-bike and cruise down the road in style. Special thank you to Angui for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay. Hello my friends, another day out here on the ranch working on the roof. 
nice day today so hopefully we make a lot of progress for once we are starting relatively early the last few days we didn't start until like 1 30 so have a good day ahead of us doing stuff for the roof so i'm in the entrance structure as you can see we made it to there so now we will start to do the scary part which is all of here and above this balcony here which is the most scary right here I need to clean a little bit the building site is getting a little bit messy but it happens you know okay so we got i think two more rows installed yesterday of the plywood and it's great because now the roof of where I am basically these two containers is completely covered so we won't have to worry about water pooling on the container roof anymore so this is great so now we are going to go ahead and screw in the one row that we installed we've been kind of going like that across the roof so now we're gonna screw the row that we installed yesterday and set the next row and then go back and screw the other row. So progress is going well and we will see how far we get tonight, today. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I just wanna say that we have like a whole new appreciation for people who do roofing for a living because this shit is scary, okay? Look at this, look at this. First, look how high we are. Okay. Look at Viam right now. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> look, look, look how high. I know it's probably hard to capture it in uh, in video, but uh, let's see. The slab is 20 feet down, and down there is about 30 something feet from where we are. It's fine. Oh, scary. Anyways, got that little feeling in my stomach, you know? I don't like it. But we shall continue safely and slowly. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we are done for today. <laughs> um, we got, I think, two more rows installed. So let me show you what we did. As you can see, everything is all covered for the night. It's supposed to be a little windy, so I don't know. I hope it holds. But we got this one all installed and these two set, and then we got one over there 
Uh, really crossing our fingers that these hold and don't get blown away. As you can see, they're already parachuting over there. Super frustrating. But we can't leave them exposed because if we, for some reason, get a super heavy rain, we don't have the time to wait for them to dry because there's a chance that we won't get the weather for them to dry and we don't want to take that chance so which is why everything is covered in plastic so we're gonna call it a day today and uh get back after it tomorrow it's definitely a little bit uh darker in here um but it's kind of cool to see the progress so we just have two more rows to place one total and then over there we have kind of like this weird like half row we have to do because as you guys know this wall is not perpendicular it's like this to this line right here so it's a little bit longer over there than it is over there but so far so good it's a really a cozy vibe up in here but wow the panoramic view is just beautiful can't wait to just chill up here and watch the forest from inside the fortress. <laughs>
I don't think we can do more precise than that. Look at this. <laughs> I try not to fall off the roof over yeah. here. Yeah. But wow. The last piece of the roof is this tiny little sliver right here. Okay. New day today on the ranch and I have some news to share with you guys. We did it! We did it! We did it! We finished putting the wood on the roof! <laughs> oh, that's literally how excited we are. So yesterday, check it out, we finished the last layer of plywood. If I didn't explain already, this wall is not parallel to the house. Like if this is the line of the house, the wall is like this. That's why we had to cut all of these pieces of plywood. And that's why we have this weird tiny piece right here. <laughs> but wow, look at that. Vion, he did so good cutting. So anyways, my babe over there, as you can see, we don't have all of it screwed down yet. So we need to go along this row and along the row on the end and screw everything down and then we will move on to the next step which is probably like doing the the wood filler and screwing down the ends of the plywood into the pressure treated wood that we installed on the tubes before so for that we will just use normal screws not the wood to metal screws so we won't need to like drill and all that so how do you feel about okay, great it's an accomplishment yeah <laughs> finally a roof <laughs> <laughs> yeah good stuff yep. so yeah we are just gonna go along do that and i don't know what else we'll do we'll see but then in the next couple of days we will start to lay the i don't even know what to call it the roof material the waterproofing i don't know whatever it's basically like a giant sh shingle a roll of shingle that we will they're not shingles, but it's like a roll. You'll see, because I'll film about it. So, let's go. Okay, so we are done for the day. We got all the plywood installed and we screwed down the edges into the pressure treated wood that's on the perimeter of the roof. So as you can see here, let me show you. So we have the wood to metal screws here and then pretty much about every six inches we have these screws just wood to wood screws there so we got all of those installed we measured where we have to put the drip edge and marked that down and now we have everything covered for the night and let me show you why we're so adamant about covering everything look at this so you see it's cloudy right now but actually what it is is like we are in a cloud so the moisture is probably 100 percent humidity right now because it's not raining but i would say it's like misting so anyways check this out look at this this is water accumulating if it's gonna be like this all night when we wake up tomorrow it'll be like wet it'll be a little well most of it will drain out but you know there'll be little pockets where it gets stuck like right here but for the most part the plastic has been doing a good job to keep everything dry and it's really important that it stays dry because when we go to install the membrane it cannot be wet at all or so they say in the installation uh, guide so rather not take a chance which is why we like i don't know like for any of you that watch dexter i feel like every time we finish we have to like do the kill room you know like when you mix everything in plastic that's that's this but wow, this 
rooftop deck is incredible. I cannot wait to hang out up here. Even doing construction up here is just a pleasure. It's so cool. It's amazing, the view. The volume is so big. It's about like 1,600 square feet, this rooftop deck, so it's incredible. So we're gonna call it a night. Um, just go do, do the things that humans do. Eat and uh, go sleep and wake up and do more stuff tomorrow. <laughs> but everything's going really well for the roof. I'm really happy with how it turned out and uh, just excited to be making progress while it's summer. <laughs> All right, until tomorrow, peace. So cool. We've really come a long way in our container build journey, and this is a huge step forward for us. The roof really changes the aesthetic of the house, and I absolutely love how it's turning out. We often imagine what it will be like to hang out up here when everything is complete. We've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go, so be sure to subscribe to see the final results. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.